Hey what's up guys, Rado here. Again we are at the Parapros garage with Brett and uh, we are going to find out what's wrong with the YZ250 engine. We suspect there is something with a crank. Yeah. That's what the former owner told us. So we're gonna take it completely apart today. That will be the step one because we're gonna do also the uh, different transmission. We have different uh, third, fourth, fifth gear, and pretty much everything would be brand new in this engine. So today we're gonna take it apart. So stick around. Whoa, here's part of the problem. So we got broken power valve arm. Yeah. So right away we know what's wrong by taking it apart. Crank bearing is smoked. <laughs> um, looks like it has a lot of time on this thing, so we'll definitely have to split the cases and put a new crank. So on the Yamaha YZ250, they're notorious for the springs and the pressure plate inside to break. Take that apart. Inside you have pressure springs and you have a return spring. And then on the inside, after we get this off, there is a pressure plate that holds the main power valve flap down so it doesn't have play. A lot of times these springs will crack and the pressure plates will crack. This one looks really good, so it doesn't look like we'll need to replace that. So after looking at the cylinder, we have a problem inside right here. The piston had hit the cylinder and has some bad scarring and wear. So we're gonna have to send this cylinder out to Millennium and get it replated and it'll be like new. So here's the reed cage. The reeds definitely are a little worn, probably need replacing. I have a feeling he's gonna get some new ones. Yes, I think so. <laughs> So having all the power valve pieces out right here, everything looks really good, just a little dirty, but no breaks. Norm a lot of times these will break. Um, this is a pressure, this little bends, they'll snap off. Um, the hooks will snap off and the springs will break. Um, all these look really good, so we just need to clean them and put them back in. Uh, all right guys, so uh, we are only at the top end and we already found uh, <laughs> three things that we need to fix. The power valve, yep. uh, actuator was this thing right here on the side was broken. Then we need to replay the cylinder and our bottom end is shut completely. So let's keep going, open this puppy and see what else uh, is waiting for us over there. So after getting the clutch apart, you could tell that these, this clutch was highly burnt. It was probably slipping really bad, which probably led to this overheating and that rod going out. You could see the notches on the basket are pretty bad. So this clutch was just absolutely hammered. 
and it probably led to the rod going out. Okay. Never that bad. So as you can see on the clutch basket, it's highly notched. So we're going to probably be getting a brand new Henson. And this thing will be rocking and rolling. Make sure when you're taking these motors apart too that you get all the washers. There's some hidden washers in a few places. You don't want to lose those. So with the cases off, you want to inspect it, make sure that there's no cracks on these edges. When these rod bearings tend to go out, pieces will get stuck inside of here and actually push this little case in and you'll get little hairline cracks. Um, this one doesn't look like it had any damage, there's no scarring or anything, so it's really good. So we'll just have to replace the main bearing seals, put a new crank in, we'll replace the tranny bearings and we'll be good to go. So these transmissions, they don't come out individually. You got to pull this whole thing out as one piece as it goes back in, one piece, and kind of a pain. Yamaha rivets their shift forks in on the shafts, so it's not an up and down. The whole shaft moves up and down, so it makes it a little bit harder to get apart and put back together. They're up and ready. Killing me. So when you get the transmission out, you want to make sure that everything's there. On these ones, they don't have end washers, so you're in good shape there. Um, normally we would inspect these gears really good, but since we're replacing these, I'm not really worried about it too much. But they do look actually fairly well. All right, my friends, so entire engine is apart and uh, <laughs> a little more things are wrong than uh, what I was expecting. So Brett, what, what's, the, what's the score here at the end? Well, we need to replace the power valve arm. She's broken. The crank is definitely toast. The clutch is toast. Okay. The cylinder is no good. Mm. We need to send that out, get plated. Um, transmission actually doesn't look too bad, but we're putting a new one in it. And so we're not worried about that. The shift forks look pretty good. Okay. Um, everything looks pretty good. Cases are in good shape. They're no not cracks, right? You know, on the cases, guys, uh, when I washed the engine, I saw a bunch of uh, hair cracks, and I was kind of worrying that they might go all the way through. But Brett told me, right, I called him right away. I was like, hey, I see all these cracks. But Brett told me that uh, that's normal for YZ, that they usually are like that, the case that they came out like that. So, yeah, and they're not cracked all the way through, which is a great thing. Yeah, it's just, it's just from the molding. When they have their molding, they put it together and they get it out. It just ends up with a bunch of little cracks. And mm -hmm. they're not even cracks. They're just, it's just ridges from the molding. Um, I see. But yeah, so you're, you're good there. There's no cracks in the, in, in the crank housing. Sometimes there's, the cranks go out and the bearing gets in between and cracks. Mm -hmm. So we're good there. 
So yeah, we definitely have to get some new parts and cool. we'll be good. Yeah, so we have a lot of work to do on the engines. The plan now is that we need to send the cylinder out to Millennium to get it replated. Once that's done, then we'll send it to uh, Tom Morgan and get it uh, done, get it uh, ported and uh, match also the heads together, make it uh, for the riding I want to do. Then uh, while he's doing that, I'll take some of these parts and send it over to uh, some company to get it uh, hydroblasted and also Cerakoted. Nice. And then we need to work on all the other pieces, get all the Rand Rabbit kit, the Hinson clutch, uh, all the bearing, everything, so seals. V-Force reads. V-Force reads, that's what we're gonna get. And also uh, we're gonna get a wide ratio transmission, which I already have, I'm just missing fifth gear. I'm gonna get that uh, OEM. And uh, we should be in a good shape in a few weeks. Uh, to be putting everything back together. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a little worse than what I was hoping, but the good news is that once we are done, this thing would be better than brand new, yes. right? Oh yeah, it's gonna be really nice. All right, that's about it for today, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know below in the comments, and don't forget, as always, uh, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you later.